Hi guys, welcome to part 4 of this tutorial series where we are building a real-time crypto application with the use of Django, Redis, Celery and Django channels. So in this one we are going to get the data that we have from the API and we are going to put it into our database and we will not only have it saved once but we will update it every single minute and then in the next part we will have those updates visible in the browser so we can see it over here all right so without further ado let's get started all right guys so now that we know the basics of celery this video should be a pretty short one so let's cut straight to the chase and define a new task so at the bottom i'm going to start by writing the shared task decorator and below i'm going to put in a function called get crypto data and here we will begin by borrowing a piece of code from our views py file so i'm going to grab those two lines and put them inside of our tasks py okay so here we have the data from the api i'm also going to import requests requests okay and now having this we can create a for loop for item in data we can actually refer to the get or create method but first we need to import our position so until uh, now we were doing the work on our test model so now we will bring the position in order to do some serious stuff and here i'm going to put in p as the position object and then blank for created and i'm going to write down position objects and then get or create and i'm going to get it or create it by the name so uh, the name will be item name all right and so basically if we um, if we uh, find um object a position object with the name we are going to get it if we don't find it by the name we are going to create it so now we need to reference the fields that we defined in the models py so the name is already taken care of we need to focus on image price rank and the market cap so um, in the tasks py let's write down p image is equal to item and then image so this is coming this is these are our fields and here we have the data from the api and we are assigning data from the api to our field so i think this is obvious and here we will have p price and then in the api we have it named as current price and then the next position was rank and then we can put in item and market cap rank okay and finally uh, we need to have the market cap so market cap and this is just going to be item and market cap all right as the last step let's put in p save not save but save okay and this is it but we want to run this get crypto data every minute so i'm going to borrow the code that we've written down uh, one episode ago and i'm going to place it below and here i'm going to define another function that will run every minute and i'm just going to call it get crypto current something like this and i'm going to simply run it in the background so get crypto data and then delay later we will probably need to adjust this but for now it should work so what i'm going to do is to actually save this 
hopefully I didn't make any mistakes and yeah we can go back to the terminal I have uh, over here my Redis ser server tested and I have two windows for the salary beat and the worker so let's write salary a crypto proj and then i will begin with the beat l info and here i'll do the worker so crypto a and then crypto sorry not crypto salary salary a and crypto proj worker l info so as a confirmation let's go to um, the admin let's hit refresh no positions are over here and i'm going to run this so let's see if this is working okay and what do you know we have some data so let's see if this will be actually updated so i'm going to copy this price i'm going to put it in the new window this is for bitcoin and i'm going to refresh it in one minute all right guys so after two three minutes i'm going to hit refresh and there is the price so as you can see it has been updated i'm going to put the prices over here so you can see a little bit better so this was the initial and this one was after two three minutes okay i think we can finish off over here so later we will probably need to do some adjustments over here in this in this part um maybe in this one as well i'm not sure yet but yeah in the next part we will do django channels so we will bring django channels into our project so those prices that we have over here and now they are being updated in the database so as a confirmation let's take a look at bitcoin one more time i'm going to refresh it over here we have 105.60.2 and i'm going to refresh it over here as well and we have 105.60.2 so the prices match and yeah right now they are being updated in the database so in the next one we will make them be uh, updated in the browser so we can actually see the changes without having the page to be reloaded. So this is going to be quite fun and exciting. Hope to see you there. Have a great day and bye-bye.